What's up, nerds? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new R2-D2 that just came out, the Return of the Jedi. I believe it's pretty much the, the, the same R2 as before, but we're still going to take a look at it because I do not have an R2 in my collection. So let's start with the packaging. Really, really cool looking vintage retro packaging. I really like that. Um, but yeah, there's R2 in the package. He's got all of his accessories. Flip it over and we got the images of the other figures that came out in this wave. Um, but yeah, so that's him in the packaging. Very cool. So let's take a look at him out of the package. All right, so we got R2 out of his package and my goodness, y'all. I've been waiting so long to get a legit R2-D2 figure. And this is so exciting. This is my first R2 figure. And um, look at all these little accessories that he comes with. I'll show you these better in a second. R2 himself looks amazing. He's definitely the right size. Let me show you the stand-in that I had for R2 for the longest time. And it's just, you know, this isn't an actual action figure. It's just, I don't even know. It's just like a, it just stands here and it did, which I'm sure if I, you know, got in here and changed the battery. But yeah, when you pressed in on the head, it made his um, his noises and everything. And I honestly don't even remember where I got it from. So yeah, now I have an actual R2-D2 figure. So this one can go sit on my desk at work or something. So with that one out of the way. Let's take a look at R2 because he is amazing. So his head spins all the way around obviously. And then up top, we got the uh, the spots for the accessories right there. You can pop this off and put one right there. That would probably be really easy to lose, so be careful with these pieces. And then you can pop this one off as well and put something right there. These don't come off at all. None of these other ones come off, so you can put two accessories right there. And then right here, his head pops up, which, you know, when I first saw this, because I'm pretty sure he does not do this at all in any of the films. But what is cool about it, though, is you can take all of these extra accessories and store them in here when they're not being used, which is really, really cool. Um, because I was thinking at first I was going to have to put them in one of my, uh, you know, little Ziploc bags or something like that and uh, put them away with all the other accessories, but I won't have to. I can just put them all with R2 right there, which is really cool. Uh, his legs come back. Let's see. And you got the feet. The feet actually go more that way than this way. Um, and I guess it's this little part in here that's blocking him. I mean, but you don't need it to move that much because R2 doesn't move them that much. So, well, I'll do that in just a second. Let me finish showing you this right here. The body is just incredible. And, you know, for those of you who have already had an R2 figure, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, he's so excited. You know, this just looks like the, the last one. Well, I don't have the last one, so that's why I'm so excited. But, you know, you can open these up right here. Um, I've seen people open it up with like a little uh, box cutter or a little blade or something, but... I mean, I have, you know, some fingernail. If you push on the back of it, it kind of cracks it open. And then you can just kind of get in there and open it up. But yeah, some more spots for more accessories to put in there. Um, but I'll show you that more in a second. These look like they open up, but I don't think they actually open up. Um, oh, well, you know what? Look at that. I did not know this opened up until now. I was about to tell you I don't think it opens up, but apparently it does. I just didn't try hard enough, I guess. It feels like if you try to open it more, it's like it might pop off though. So I'm not gonna sit here and test it. So yeah, that one does open up. So let's, let's get in here and get this one too. Maybe, nah. Okay, so the point is, they do open up because they definitely looked like they opened up. The paint job on R2 is really, really nice. I really love this blue. I love the metallic look. 
on a lot of the parts, how a lot of parts are glossy. I mean, he looks like a, a fresh droid. Fresh droid, what the, what the heck does that even mean? I mean like off the assembly line, like there's no damage on them, no scuffs or anything, so that's what I mean. That sounded a little weird, but anyway, got this little green spot back here. It's kind of like a neon green or something. So, and then his leg, his third leg down here, if you will, pretty sure you just have to reach in here, which is a little difficult, honestly, but just get in there. And I'm sure that's why they give you these open spots right here, but okay, come on. There we go. So if you pull it out, he'll snap, it'll snap into place like that. And then it can, you know, bend back to where, um, here, let me focus on him. So, you know, you put the legs back, this leg comes out and you can have him when he's, you know, rolling around and everything. So that's really cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. And that is my son you hear in the background acting a little wacky in the living room. But anyway, he's got this accessory right here. It kind of looks like a little, like a little gun. I've, I remember seeing all of these in the films and everything, but I couldn't tell you what some of them are, but it kind of looks like a little gun. And then right here, we have his um, like antenna that uh, comes up and we'll sit there and go around. We have the little gripper. Kind of looks like one of those um, those little toys that you know you had as a kid where it's got the little uh, handle on it and it'll squeeze and grab something. But yeah, little uh, little grabber thing right here. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> then there is this, which I don't know what to call this either, but here it is. Then there is this one. I believe this is the one he used to like un uh, like plug into the computers on ships and doing stuff with the onboard computers on the ships and everything. But yeah, so that one has like some little uh, copper coloring on it. And this is probably my favorite one. This is probably the one I'll use um, the most when displaying him is his, I don't know, it's almost like a, I think it's like a periscope type thing. Pops up and uh, he can look, he can look around. So yeah, let's, uh, let's try a few of these accessories out real quick. We'll try the periscope one first. So let's pop this off. I wonder if there's a spot where you can store this like in his body, maybe there is. So take that right there and then you put it in right there and there it is. Okay, let's see. Oh, and his antenna, that one pops in here, which I guess you could have his, you know, you can have two of them up here, his periscope and his antenna. Um, but there's his antenna that pops out. So let's come right here where some of those arms would pop out. Uh, let's open it up. Let's see, let's go with this one. Put it right here. So like the way they popped out in the, the film, I believe is like this little door would open up and they would just kind of lift up like this. So I'm gonna go with the top one. But I mean, there's spots you know, for like all of them, but yeah, there we go. Uh, let's put, let's put another one in here just because y'all, I'm, I'm sitting here playing with it right now, so bear with me. So let's go with the, the middle one this time. So yeah, he can have all of these accessories out at the same time. This is so cool, man. I mean, I, I really, really like this R2 figure. So, Pops out and let me see, is there? Okay, so let's do this. Let's put that one. I don't know, there might be certain spots for certain accessories, so we might have to figure that out along the way. Let's do this. Let's just get them in here. I don't know, that one's not really going in there. So let's see, maybe it's a different one. Yeah, see it goes in better right there. Let's put right here. Tell you what, I will come back in a second when I have all of these in place so you don't have to sit here and watch me be a fool. Okay, so some of these kind of have trouble staying in place, but I mean, as long as you pretty much got it in there. All right, let's see. I'm afraid if I do it too fast, they're just gonna fly out, but come on. 
Go back down. Oh, wait. Will it go down if that third leg is up? I don't know, man. Come on. Oh, there we go. Look at that, man. That is that is good. That is good engineering right there. That's really cool. I really like, y'all, I know I'm a little overexcited about the fact that I can store accessories inside of them, but I have this bin that has like nothing but action figure accessories in there. And it's really cool to not have to add to it. For me, I will probably display him with the uh, the third, that third leg out. But also, let me show you what he looks like next to his buddy, C-3PO. So hold on one sec. Oh my gosh, y'all. That looks so cool. C-3PO and R2-D2 together again. Those are gonna look so cool in my Star Wars collection, especially now that I have R2 and he's got his buddy with him. Those look so great together. Again, I know I'm overexcited, but dang. Oh, yeah, let me throw in his little, his little, uh, his little stand-in that was there for a while. So yeah, check them out. Let's take a look at him on the platform. All right, y'all, that is it for the review of R2-D2. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about this figure, if y'all picked it up, etc., etc. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Till next time.